of <laughs> This is well intense. I've only it's only eight minutes in. Hello everyone, welcome in. My name's Kai Zamet. I'm a director, cinematographer and writer based in the South of the UK. And today in this video, thanks to you guys being, well, very vocal in the comment section, we're going to be looking at all the in-game cinematics and cutscenes to Halo Reach. How I like to do these videos is once I hit the play button, I let that thing play all the way through. And the reason why I do that without stopping is I like to be drawn into the story. And that's the only way I can get drawn into the story. But as we're watching, what I'll do is I'll offer my commentary over the top, talking about the filmmaking side of the thing. So video editing, the cinematography and the overall story story structure of the visual narrative and things like that so anything they've used filmmaking wise I'll start talking about it and lastly just before I hit the play button I just want to say thank you to you guys you because without you giving the videos likes and telling me in the comment section how much you're enjoying my coverage of the Halo franchise I wouldn't be covering this video today so again thank you so much if you're enjoying this Halo franchise and this video give it a like as it really does help out the channel and the video and then yeah I'll keep covering more Halo so yeah with all that said and done play the tape Ba -ba 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 -bum. Straight in with that music. So good. And there she is, Reach. Just to let you guys know, I, I've never played this game, but I've played bits of it, or I've seen my friends play it, and them going back years now. Uh, so I know a little bits about it. I know the history of Reach, because uh, it actually comes from one of my favourite... Oh my God, it's amazing. From one of my favourite books, The Fall of Reach. But yeah, I, I do know bits about this. I've never seen it, and I definitely didn't have the filmmaking knowledge that I do today. Oh my god, look at that heat haze. God, that orchestral. Don't look good, does it? Okay, flash to white. So we've started at the very end. What's, you know, we're going to go back now, what's going on? Well, that's what I'm getting. Oh, yeah, look. So they call that foreshadowing. They've told us something was happening. And now we're going to get, we're going to find out what happened. And I'm guessing that was his helmet. This is great, isn't it? the camera position was and the way it looked up at him you know we're, we're looking at his chest contact with Visegrad relay was lost last night all signals flatlined at 2600 hours I responded with trooper fire teams which have since been declared MIA and now you're sending us the office of naval intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources no. I disagree commander so that's our new number six Cat, you read his file only the parts that weren't covered in black ink we had no music now we're listening Anyone to the dialogue sir only thinks it might be the local insurrection five months ago they pulled a similar job on harmony hit a relay to take out our eyes and ears then stole two freighters from dry dock that cannot happen here we just it's very cinematic important. the camera's moving i want that relay back online noble one all the time sir Consider it done. Then I'll see you on the other side. Holland out. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Carter. Noble team's leader. That's Cat, Noble 2, Meal and George 4 and 5. You're riding with me, Noble 6. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Nice. Just one thing. I've seen your file, even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. Welcome to Reach. I like this. This is, um... They've told us loads about our character already. I know we're playing uh, Noble Six. But they've told us information that, you know, we know he's got that badass history. But the way the camera was, he's always shaking. Like we could tell something, you know, shit's about to hit the fan. Listen up, noble team. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're going to introduce ourselves to whoever took it out, and then Kat's going to get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. Sir, why would Rebels want to cut off reach from the rest of the colonies? 
You got a chance, maybe you can ask him, George. Commander, we just lost our signal with HQ. Backup channels. Searching. Nada. Can't say what's jamming us. You heard her. Dead zone confirmed. Command will not be keeping us company. I really trip. like the um. I'm lonely already. All these big vistas that they're showing, it gives you that that large landscape, that expanse of the universe. So I love about Star Wars and things like that. They give you these these big vistas. It's really interesting. I'll be curious to know if the other scenes don't have music playing because sometimes you have backing tracks and they drown out. Shoot down the temps are likely, so keep your distance. Yes, sir. Oh, we actually see a bit of gameplay on this uh, compilation. Oh, we are. Where's the rest of your unit? We got split. I don't think they. It sounded bad on the comms. All right, Corporal. Stay put. We'll get you a combat surgeon. Damn. Plasma damage. Found something. I'll take that, Six. Not your domain. You know, she's well spiky, that one, isn't she? Come on. Ah, you come. Many an evening. Oh, no. How do you it? It's all right. Kill it. Not gonna hurt you. You're in me. George. I got her. Keep still. It's quite intense, it's already, isn't it? Meg. Eat Vanak. Oh, mate, where you come from? What's the status? It's over. We've been engaged. Out. I'm trying to work out on the timeline. Are, are the cover they know what the cut they do know what the covenant is, don't they? Because of harvest. Oh, they're taking hostage a hostage. Permission to pursue. Negative four, stay on the entrance. Two, handle her. Five and six, clear the hole. Mate, this don't seem like a halo game. And that sounds stupid. This seems like proper tactics and like the music. You hear that riser? I don't think Covenant How didn't long? think Covenant take hostages. Question of my life. If the question is question when will the station be back online, two weeks earliest. This is plasma damage. All major uplink components are fried. Two minutes is too long. Which is why I'm splicing into the main overland bundle to get you a direct line to Colonel Holland. All right. You're in my light, Commander. I love that. She's very uh, you know. straight to the point, isn't she? Spiky. <laughs> What's your name? Do you live around here? I wonder if they cover the house she lost her arm. I'm Evan George. Shada. Shada. Se patrozumev. Your accent sounds familiar. Shoprum? Tangari. Friend of yours? Father. Oh, shit. Shine along. I'm sorry. Why would you be? Big man forgets what he is sometimes. She just lost her father. They not like she needs a full psychiatric spartans. She's not the only one. Lock it down, both of you. Is it, is this in the stage Get that they've not seat. seen the covenant yet? The body stage. As in, they you, they sir. you know like uh, Halo forward until dawn. They they hated the Indies or whatever it was. Is it is this the transition? Signa, it's patchy, but, but it's surely they know I'll what the covenant is. Let's not touch anything. You wouldn't want to ground this place. But fucking hell, this is well intense. I've only, it's only eight minutes in. Over. Colonel, this is Noble One. There are no rebels. Oh, I might have to play it. The Covenant are on I'd love for myself. Acknowledge. Come again, Noble One. Did you say Covenant? Oh. Affirmative. It's the winter contingency. Oh, okay. May God help us all. Oh, of course, because Reach was their military, the major military, so they've just found out that the Covenant's there, right? Wow. But that felt really strange about the camera movement. It just felt like I was in a tactical operation, not like a Halo sci-fi. Do you know what I mean? A space opera, if you were. 
But like even the drone shot, like or if you want to call it a drone shot, like it's even got a bit of a shake to it. Like it was done on a helicopter. I constantly feel like there's there's something going wrong. Coordinates received. Initiate immediate course correction. The Office of Naval Intelligence Sword Base is presently in Imagine they made a movie of this. The oh, then again, they've got the new TV show, haven't we? Which is covering the fall of Reach. If you guys want me to cover that, you'll have to let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Alright, people. We're stuck with that ship for the time being. Let's focus on the hostile infantry. Give those troopers a hand. Cat 6, you're out here. George Mill. What's that? Hey, see that? Prepped. Covenant jumping and fall back down. That's all random. Take the shot. Take the shot. Could you imagine being in that world, though? You know what the Covenant is, you've heard of it, and then suddenly it's upon you. Beautiful, ain't it? Someone should take a picture. Nice work, by the way. I aim to please. Five, six, get down to the science wing. Dr. Halsey wants a debrief and command saying we're all hers. Repeat. Sounded like you said Halsey. I did. Copy that on our way. Don't need command to tell me. Been all hers half my life. requested your assistance, Commander, and do not need a report on events that occur on my own doorstep. What I do require is a detailed account of your previous engagement. George, it's been too long. Oh, mate, what a soldier. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. <laughs> Visegrad relay. Its data center was home That's to like mum, isn't it, archaeologists, Professor Laszlo Sorvad. Perhaps you could shed some light on his death. If he was a civilian male in his mid-sixties, he died with a Covenant energy sword through his abdomen. Elites, then. They engaged us as well. It was just, uh, just after we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the... Irrelevant. Uh, the elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of it. Zealots. You're She's cut for it, that woman, isn't configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant you know. dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor account suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always this camera is proper class. shaking. No doubt they came to this the really with the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend Gosh, to. Oh, she's such a good planet. Like anti-hero, isn't she? Professor Sorvad's final oh, entry in his field notes made really? reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole that music. contains it. The little, the little yeah. instrument plugs. Before you ask, I was alerted at the moment you attempted to access its contents. As I am with I know something Anatara almost majestic tap. is taking place here. That data is classified tier something one. Something beyond them. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Oh, she's such a bitch, isn't Maybe she? Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive. Winter contingency? I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. Yeah, she's such a... a bitch for character, isn't she? Mom? That will be all, George. So he's obviously got a very close relationship, because I'm... Cause obviously Spartan 2 program. Are they not... the rest of them not Spartan 2s?
Because she addresses George differently. Where they got the camera? Look, right off his axes. Just to sort of emphasise how close to the edge. But look, large me, it feels not quite handheld, but we've got a handheld feel to it. And they didn't have to do that, did they? Normally they wouldn't. Normally it'll be from afar and it'll swoop round them. But look how dangerous it is. But they haven't. They've kept it kept us with them. When the cat runs an up, direct action is always necessary. I think that's how they're gonna they've made it feel like we're really close to our Spartans. High velocity, armor pistol. Like we're almost like a Spartan with them. Off an elite at 2,000 yards, and they ain't cheap. And they ain't cheap. Uh, look at here, look, we're just over his shoulder. Hmm. I'll be in touch. Yeah, it's very, it's very clever how they've done that. But like the, the 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 reboot of the God of War franchise, they kept it with one camera at movement movement so as if it was always done on one shot and that's how you get drawn into your your subjects your characters here they've allowed for cuts but it's very close to where they've shot it jackpot transmitting visual you've seen this cat confirmed receiving nova three and nova six live visual of a covenant strike force it's no strike force it's an invading army if we're gonna smother this thing we need to go in hard and fast Agreed. All recon teams disengage and fall back. Then we'll be up in a few hours. They're proper out for their depth here, aren't they? As in, you know, the odds. I love watching these compilations, me trying to work out what the story is, what's going on just by cutscenes alone. It's making my brain really think. And we are now under attack across the Vieri territory, including orbital defences. As per the winter contingency, what is ODST we are drops? countering on every front. Noble's reconnaissance has also identified sophisticated Covenant army hiding canopies, and has pinpointed what's believed to be a landing zone for additional Covenant forces, the origin of which is yet to be determined. I wonder what this would look like in today's graphics, how amazing this would be. Feel like the Halo 2 anniversary uh, remastered cutscenes. <gasps> the camera's coming in. Like the choice of of the camera, where to pla the camera placement is. Might want to hold on to something. Oh, mate! Or oh, when they hit, they should make that camera go forward. Like it's almost as if you've gone through the screen <sighs> and watched the car like tumble out. Dude, was that the Wilhelm Six. scream? Can you hear me, Six? You all right? I could use some help. That, on my way. I'll be honest with you, guy. That pisses me off. That Wilhelm scream. Okay, we did Get the mission, obviously. Control, this is Noble One. Spire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound. See what I mean about having these big vistas? It really... Backgrounds in atmosphere. One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. It really does make this universe feel massive. And that's how you do it. New contact. High tonnage. Oh, shit. Now, somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton. Do you copy? The Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. How many people died on that? Oh, my God. The size of it. Mate, there's always a bigger ship in there. Oh, my God. 
Dude, it fucking wrapped round. Oh, same sort of music from near the beginning. Is that Scarab? Was more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier. A grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 huh. hours. Dude, make this a movie. 48 hours? That's imminent? Oh, I like his tattoo. Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Her. You always pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or Look at this low-key look. Carry them. You're preaching to the converted. She even I had like a Rembrandt triangle. Look, look at that. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haul-out. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. And this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for She's you, a cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. Look how cinematic it looks because they're backlit. Almost silhouetted. Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Huh. How defensive Objective? it was. Destroy Covenant carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. This sanctions, sir. What do you think? Oh. Method. A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system. Us. Solvable. Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site and the non-existent... This team is awesome, isn't it? ...dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor. And in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. You're scary. You know that. <laughs> All we need is a green light from Holland. Mm, good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Someone like her should be way up the ranks. I wonder what's keeping her... Why they kept her down. Well, there's no way in hell he's She's clearly trouble. This. What I love about it, I can understand what each character does. With such little time that I spent with them, I understand. The way it's going, though, and I know the history of Re uh, Reach, makes me think a lot of them ain't going to come out alive. They're about to do something... You know, these are the heroes that you... that do something that actually saved a lot of people that you never hear about. Any closer is too hard to land. Copy that, Commander. And those stories are, are always difficult to... when you lose someone, they're always difficult to... to, you know, to comprehend and be like, oh... You know, they leave that last impression. That smiley face on his thing. What random. You know, we're still we're still in that process of we've been we've had that foreshadowing image at the beginning. Does Noble Six survive? And the fact that I've not heard of him other than this tells me that he won't. See, our eyes went straight to that point because it was the brightest and whitest light on screen. So they, and because we had been on that, stuck on this rocket part for a while, we were looking for something that moved.
yeah, this would totally work as a as a movie. I'm out here, six. Warning, M spec reentry pack disengaged. I need your override. Warning, M spec reentry. Cockpit depressurization complete. Canopy release lever armed. This is quite long, isn't it? This bit, the whole build-up of this. It's making me feel uneasy. Max Savanov, Siva. Which is, I think, is the point. Please repeat. Because they spent so long out there. Pull up surface grid 19 by 22. Gladly. Only sword base, sector 18G. Thermal enhanced. Look at that stuff. Noble 5, your pulse is elevated. There is nothing you can do for Dr. Halsey and the others inside Sword Base. The mathematics are determinate. Noble 5? I know. Like oh, you feel the weight of it. It's the, it's the melody that they're using. And the, to or the tone that they're delivering it. We've flagged a Corvette class vessel on a predicted docking track with our target. I feel uneasy. You should use music as a character. A character that can talk to you directly, as, a, as your audience directly. So when I say it's a character, a lot of people go, well, it's not a character, is it? But it is. But just to us, the audience. UNSC Savannah. Our wings may be clipped, but we've got your back. I've stuck my neck out for Noble on this one, Lieutenant. We'll get it done, Colonel. Six out. Target Corvette sighted within visual range of Nav Beacon RA-15. We have visual. Target confirmed. They're gonna fucking blow through that like nothing, aren't they? The Covenant? So they just will have to be initiated manually. flown onto it. Yes, sir. Five, stay with the bomb and discourage the curious. My pleasure. Hear that, Lieutenant? I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would you? That's the bomb, is it? So, so how? So how did they just yes, get onto the ship? I'll have to find out afterwards. How the fuck did they not get shot down? So. It's gonna be like mad. Well, I've got good news and bad news. This bird took some fire and I thrust the gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Bad news is, time is fried. And I'll have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We will make it sooner or later. Oh, mate. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen, Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. Dude, you just fucking picked it. I can feel myself getting emotional. I don't even tell him to make it. I don't even know him that well. Oh, mate. Oh, I like that character and all. So I see someone pull dog tags off, mate. I, my eyes start warring. I bet that would have been really difficult to watch that if you played the whole game. And got to hear all the in-mission dialogue as well. But he didn't hear the noble six go, no, you son of a bitch. He didn't try to stop it, did he? I think you should have had a little bit more dialogue there. What are you doing? George, no! Slip space watcher detected. Gamma station control. You son of a bitch. 
But maybe it would have taken away what George was doing and the power where the camera was shooting up at him, made him look powerful. Mate, what a ledge. It's mental, isn't it? I've only spent 29 minutes with these characters and I actually felt myself getting quite emotional then. Fuck, did he just fall from space? No, he was on that ship, right? And the ship's crashed. And he's walked away from it. Okay. Hey, the others the others are still alive, aren't they? Oh, look at that melody. Boy took that down, didn't he? That was that the ship that George blew up. So he did crash down to the fucking. I'll have to find out. I'll have a look on YouTube afterwards. Or you guys can let me know in the comment section. I actually really like reading your comments. I actually think I remember the, the multiplayer map of this. So I played a lot of the multiplayer with friends. Have music. Did, 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 did. Oh, yeah, they got re I hope they remaster this. I'd love to play it. Imagine what it looked like if Blur Studios Civilian did the cutscenes. You saved a lot of lives today, Spartan. Copy. Oh, look at that lovely. Repeat, this is Noble Two, Noble Six, Noble Five. The colouring of it. Copy. This is Six. Go ahead, Noble Two. We picked up your transponder about an hour ago, but could not risk open comms. Covenant have this city sealed tight. We're getting nothing from George. He didn't make it. Understood. What's the situation at Starport exit? The last transport is away. Mate, we're not a hero. We're bringing you to us. It's really interesting. Is how they they've made you you feel the pressure of this team. With the close camera angles, with the music, with the shaky cam, punching in the silhouette shots, using shadows. Even if I did play it back when I was a kid, I'd have never appreciated any of that. But now I can. Beautiful. It really is. This was Bungie, right, wasn't it? They were good back then, weren't they, Halo games? Like, I can feel the loss of reach through them. Amazing. Just by using music and close angles of their faces, their helmets, looking at things. Your report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms. I've got a feeling that report will never come. Cat needs your help running a counter op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make them proud.
Look at this place. It used to be the crown jewel. Hm. Not anymore. Hey, you made it. It's a regular family reunion. <laughs> Keep him. I gave him to you. I'll honor him my own way. George always said he would never leave Reach. <laughs> oh, the big man was sentimental. He gave his life thinking he'd just save the planet. We should all be so lucky. Wow, yeah. Sir, that true about Gauntlet Red and Echo teams assigned to civilian evac ops? Those are senior level communique. I hear what I hear. Point is, why put Spartans on defensive deployments? I need that link to SATCOM, cat. It's made a thing. I've just it's just occurred to me this moment. That I assume Master Chief and all the other Spartans are fighting losing. as well, aren't they in Reach? I want to know if we've lost. Like they're they're fighting at the same time as the as these guys are. I didn't even think of that before. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. I wonder where they are. Or what they're doing. Over. Sierra two five nine. If you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. Carter here. I like her. Yes, sir. Spiky bitch. We got movement. Multiple Covenant vehicles She's awesome. in the area. And they're in a hurry. How often do you see Covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation flare. Big. 40 million root guns. Just lost Holland. What's going on? Atomic excitement scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That oh. close! No. Well, they're starting to glass here. First glassing. Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level two. 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir. We're being redeployed to Sword. Look at this. Sword? Covenant own it now. Which is why they want us for a torch and burn Oh, sure, this helmet looks a bit like the Mark V. Falling into enemy hands. If it hasn't already. Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, get in. Let's go, come on. Close the doors. Shit, I knew something was going to happen the way they did that, but I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the ground underneath him to collapse. She was like one of the best ones. I feel like you could have had a moment where the elite, or I assume it was elite, whoever shot was like, hmm. And then you'd have that revenge joy, you'd go and get him. Or it. Oh, mate, he's carrying the body. Mate, this is fucking beautiful. I can feel my eyes watering again because it's so like powerful. Yeah, I've had hardly any time with these characters. Because the cinematography, the the complimentary music. As I said to you guys, if you get your music right and you use it to communicate with your audience, powerful stuff. Even though I'm just an emotional wreck. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. None of us are normal. Noble One, this is Noble Actual. Noble One, go ahead. We need that base taken out, son. What's your status? Still outside. Thermal on the interior show standing. I, I definitely think it's a case of. That, one. They're gonna start dropping them down. like flies now. We got a job to do, so let's stay focused and get it done. Six, are you in position? Affirmative. Good. 
good. Execute. I think we feel this close. Oh, a bit of gameplay. Contacts. Okay, no gameplay. I actually get quite bored with gameplay unless I'm actually playing it. So that's why a lot of people go, why don't you do the gameplay? And the reason why I don't is because one, I want to experience it myself when I play it, but two, I do get a little Looks bit bored. Like got themselves cornered. I want to see the cinematography. I want to the see the, the movie-esque of it and how it's told through that medium. I'm going with corner. There's nothing here. No load bedding columns either. Sir, if we're supposed to blow this place, this ain't the spot to do it from. Dot, check your vector. Vector confirmed, Commander. We are precisely where Oni has directed. Apologies. Coordinates revised. Please confirm. Revised? By an AI of unknown origin, whose clearance is well above my own. Well, it's pointing us a click and a half east and 2,000 feet underground. No, I didn't bring my shovel. Is that where Halls yeah. is? Because I didn't. Sir, I say we go AI free on this one. Obviously, George mentioned it earlier today. The longer we go chasing them. What is this, Doc? Our revised route, Commander. All right, we came this far. Oh, well, they're being led there, aren't they? I can't believe how into this I am. Oh, look at that. Camera dollies back a little bit. Closed. And now again, we're with them. We're really close to our characters. Oh, yeah, someone's watching them, aren't they? Is it her? Is it Halsey? friend tell you anything else dot yeah dot. she's fucked up she's been expecting oh you. that's perfect apologies for the unusual security measures commander but the stakes demand it dr halsey casualty she's reports always got... have you listed as yes well as they say news of my death has been great she's got her own objective isn't she i only wish the same could be said of the rest of noble team we all do ma'am it may please you to learn that the data module Noble 2 procured from Visegrad Station contained precisely what my scientist promised. A latchkey discovery. It has unlocked, at last, the secrets of this excavation. Not sure I understand. Your orders were a pretext to bring you to me and have been overridden. You are here, Team Noble, to ensure the delivery of this vital data. Music. Again, we've got that, that heart. To destroy all sensitive material. Others will that mystery. I'll need to confirm this new directive with command. Colonel Holland will be briefed. You belong to Oni now. She said, she, that's what I mean. She, she's the perfect villain, isn't she? Or the hero that, that, that becomes the villain. Before you, or an anti-hero. That's such interesting in characters. You hate them. You love them. You understand why they do what they do. Thanks to Noble 2, the decrypting of its data is nearly complete. There are characters that, that you need. Whatever we're doing down here, we better do it quick. Have your data ready, ma'am. We're coming to you. The decrypting process is still underway. I don't think you understand. We're out of time. If it isn't portable when we reach you, it's gonna get buried. Bury any of it, and you bury mankind's best chance for survival. Commander, you've been wondering what your Spartans died for? They died for this. Please, buy me all the time I wonder you what... can. I bet I know what it is. Is it is this Cortana? Is this how she she got off? Oh no, would she be would she be around still? But the way, the way she said that, this is mankind's best hope for survival, whatever it was. I bet you it's I bet it's Cortana. Fucking bet it. A hundred chocolate is coins it is. Stuff? Knowledge. A birthright from an ancient civilization. Oh, maybe not. This AI is its custodian, and she has chosen you as her couriers. Yep. Chosen. By an AI. Come on, hundred chocolate by coins. Pay AI, up. Yes. Her measure of you carries as much weight as my own. Perhaps more. 
You are to take her to the UNSC Music. shipbreaking yard in Azad. There, you'll find a Halcyon class cruiser waiting to get that her. That light motif. I understand. Do you? Mankind is outmatched. When Reach falls, and it will fall, our annihilation is all but certain. Unless we can glean from this artifact a defense against the Covenant, a game changer. On the level of the conical bullet in the 19th century, or faster than light travel Make in the 20th story. And what if we can't? An apt question, if there were somewhere else to place our hope. There is not. Hiding her face a lot, aren't they, on that? So she, so Cortana chose Noble Team to be, well, their taxi, effectively. Take it, Lieutenant. She has made oh! choice. Oh! It's Noble Six. Do you have it? Yes. Say the words, please. I have it. Why did she not just want to go in the back of his head? Did they not have that? Well, they must have, because he was in the mark. Wherever he was, Mark Five, but it was. Noble Three will escort you to Castle Base. I require no escort, Commander. June, make sure nothing falls into enemy hands. I'll do what's necessary. It gives sir. you more of a mystery if they just Good keep luck. her contained in that you too, thing. Rifleman. Oh, he's he's escorting her, is he? This ain't looking good for these boys, is it? I need a heading dot. At three kilometers north, turn right, heading zero five zero. Which leads to the ship breaking yards in Azod. The only off planet extraction point left. I'm having flashbacks planet. now. Small scale of law. That rifleman. An armada I can't remember his name. I think he said it. Well. He helps train Spartan threes, right? Or someone. Wouldn't be a noble mission if it were easy. I think I remember reading in a Halo wiki ye ages ago, or someone told me. Oh shit, is that where they were? Just were? Dear, oh dear. God, it's always on the, you know, know what I mean, like borrowed time. Noble leader, seek immediate medical attention. Noble leader, please. What's up with him? Please respond. Sierra 25. Oh, fuck me. He's taking his helmet off. Me. Not sure how long she's going to stay. Oh, together. mate, he's put bleeding. These guys are jammed up anyway. Got to get you off her, Lieutenant. Sir, you don't want to hear it. Get the package. It's been for years. Autumn. Done. Not yet, it's not. Emil, go with him. It's a ground game now. Mate, we have a compilation video. This is honor, proper sir. laggy. Likewise. Oh, he's got chunks missing. I'll do what I can to draw their fire. Six. That AI chose you. She made the right choice. Oh, it's a shame I didn't see that. So she'll see two left. On my mark. Mark. Oh, nice. That's interesting, you can see their overshield. You've got a mob situation. We can get past this, sir. No, you can't. Not without help. Oh. Commander, you don't have the fire. I know what he's gonna do. I've got the map. Silent copy. Oh. Hit him on, boss. You're on your own, noble. Carter out. Oh, dude. Crevice to the east. Let's go. I'm really like torn up with how they do their delivery. Like, you think they're like. Good to see oh, you. Oh, it's keys, mate. Catherine assured me I could count on you. Not just me, sir. They'll be remembered. Cruiser, adjusting heading for the autumn. 
Noble 4, I need fire on that cruiser or we're not getting out of here. Do you copy? So uh, this... Window, oh, does that mean Chief's on there then? Yeah, he's on there, isn't he? The captain, we have the package. Returning to the autumn, over. Copy that. So this is our autumn leaves, and it leads straight into Halo 1. Wow, what a lovely, what amazing full circle. Oh, shit. Oh, he got him. Oh, yeah, pop his fucking head off. I'm ready. Oh up. mate, he's still going for it. Oh. Oh. Lieutenant, get aboard! We gotta get the hell out of here! Negative. I have the gun. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you, Spartan. Oh, motherfuck. Good gun, Spike. So he actually, so he actually did save gun. their lives. And you think without his sacrifice, the chief and all that, all, everything that's happened would never have happened. It's amazing. Wow. What a story. Is he going to go out like a mill? Is it? A, is it a mill? Oh, with the, the scratching. It's going to be like gone. Look at look at the vista on it. Honestly, all the colouring. Do you remember I was talking about that Star Wars vibe? That, that how it, large it makes this Halo universe, this world building. Do you know what? Maybe I should cover Halo 1. Like I'm, I've played it obviously years ago. But maybe I should look at all the cutscenes of that and, and analyse it like I've done with this. Would you guys be interested in that? Oh, oh mate, this guy's popping achievements. So say it then, you never see what happens to him. It just goes straight into Halo 1. This is awesome. Cortana, all I need to know is did we yeah. lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. Is this low quality graphics this guy's got it on? Is that actually how, how it looks? We're so spoiled today with, uh, with game visuals like cyberpunk and things like that. Oh my god, it's stunning, isn't it? And there she is. So Chief was on... He was on that ship, wasn't he? Just in stasis. So we're not, so not going to find out what happened to Noble Six. Oh, Planet Reach. This is a post-credit scene. Part of me feels like we should have cut to that halo bit at the very end because you end it how you start the next one. Mate, the way he's holding his gun, he's he's not giving up, but he's just like, I'm done. Oh, fuck me, that's not good. If he's taking his helmet off, I've learned if they take the helmet off in this, they're going to die. Oh. Oh, no, no, don't see his face either. Oh, mate, he's taking loads of them out. Bear in mind how tough Sangili are. And he... Oh, he's still going. Oh, it's a bit shit there, isn't it? I loved it if he was, he he survived that and, and went off to be like some sort of secret agent or something. Do you know what I mean? 
It didn't take long for Reach to fall. Our enemy was ruthless, efficient, but they weren't nearly fast enough. For you had already passed the torch. And because of you, we found Halo. Unlocked mm. its secrets, shattered our enemy's resolve. Our victory, your victory, was so close. I wish you could have lived to see it. But you belong to Reach. Your body, your armor, all burned and turned to glass. Everything. Except your courage. That you gave to us. And with it, we can rebuild. Wow, that was uh, fucking brilliant. Wow. What an epic four, uh, 54 minutes that was. Amazing. So yeah, what do I think? For me personally, I think that was one of the best Halo stories I think I've ever had the privilege of watching or experiencing. I know I didn't play it properly and understand all the, the bits. I'm, pro I'm missing loads. I understand that. You know, the fact that I felt the way I did about it got emotional when I did. And how I feel now about that campaign, about that story. Considering I've only seen a little bit, I felt that was it was delivered fantastically. That goes to show you how well that story was written. But I also believe it was it was how the, the camera, the, the cinematography, how it was all delivered together, how it all came together to deliver that. You know, as I spoke about it while watching it, about the closeness of the camera. That camera was so close at some points, you're just over the shoulder. You know, the way it was framing some of the Spartans. They did that for a reason. By doing that, it made me get attached. It made us as an audience get attached to these characters. You felt like as if you were Noble Seven. Does that make sense? As in, you were part of the group and it was brilliantly done. It goes to show how clever they were when they were going to tell this story. If it was told through, you know, very Americanized cinematography or very modern Hollywood style blockbusters, very far, you know, like I'm talking about the cliff edge, for example. Do you remember where the camera was sort of off his axes? going along it showed you that drop distance didn't it but it also it made you feel how they felt it wasn't shot from a distance swooping around them like you're getting sort of helicopter shots or drone shots to sort of show the vista of it all you felt very connected with your characters and so when they started dying you know like when george and that went and when cat especially i felt like oh my god because you've had this closeness to them and that's how you could do it your visual narrative and the language that you tell you deliver the story in is so important and yeah they as i said that they nailed that the cinematography i absolutely loved it it had that very low-key lighting low-key lighting is very contrasty it means you utilize the shadows to get you where you want the audience's eyes to go it's just that's what they call low-key lighting high-key lighting is very commercial so the background is as bright as the subject that was using shadows you know i remember that shot of cat in the cave and she had like i said it was a rembrandt triangle how the lighting is about around about 45 degrees and they call it a rembrandt triangle and it was gorgeous the silhouette shots of them it looked very cinematic it also by having it being low key like that it also made it very grounded and it made it very believable and realistic if it was high key very it just wouldn't do that but the lighting complemented it as i said mix that with the music i remember that shot when he was holding cat cart was holding cat and he had that vista and the color palette and the low key lighting that with the music it just it just got to me straight away it was a piece of art the story itself a couple of things actually that i want to bring up about this story which i found really interesting it was thanks to the camera movement and and the story that they were trying to tell i felt like as i said i've already discussed i've already felt like i was part of the team but it felt like a really good story do you know what i mean like you play like halo infinite for example it's very space opera if that makes sense oh one hero's got to save today he's got to do this this i felt that time was running out i felt the panic i felt everything it was just and and oh my god how they set up for halo one and the foreshadowing thought like you knew i when you watched it it starts with noble six's helmet on the floor what a fantastic like you know but that, that is reach isn't it that is a story of reach that they all died or, or plenty of them did and not many survived you know the outcome but you don't want to believe the outcome. And that's how good that story is. I didn't want to believe that Noble Six was going to go down, but she she said at the end, without his courage, without what he did, Halo would have never happened. I thought this story was fantastic. And I think, if I remember correctly, this was Bungie's last story. And I, I feel like a bit of a dickhead that I never played it back then, but I was very, everyone kept going on about it. And I'm a bit like that with Game of Thrones. I've never seen Game of Thrones because everyone kept going on about how good it was. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And I did the same for this. Granted, I think I was going for college or something at the time. So my head was in work. Yeah. I, would, I don't think I would appreciate it as much as I did now. And I think, thanks to that, I've, I've definitely got to go and play it myself. Another thing that I want to bring up, which I found really interesting, especially this has all come at perfect timing because the way the, way, the current 
currently as I'm filming this, you've got the Halo TV series season two coming out next month. And if you guys want me to cover that, I've seen number one. I didn't like it. I don't like the Master Cheek series, to be honest. I love the fact that I'm watching a live action version, but I don't like the story, whatever it is that they told. But I heard season two's meant to be really, really good. There was a comment that the Master Chief actor told said about you can't connect with a character who's always got his helmet on, which is actually he's partly true, but it's bullshit when it comes to this character or the or the Halo franchise or the Master Chief's character because the Mandalorian never takes his helmet off but there is moments where he does and it's a reward but watching this I noticed that we were able to connect with the characters because they did take their helmets off we never saw Noble Six because that's a mystery I get that because we are the player but his comment really rung a bell in, like in my head and it's true that you do need to see the eyes to connect with a character to to fully emotionally connect I feel like these deaths of these characters really resonated with me because I'd seen their eyes, because I've seen their faces. So I think he's right in what he says in one way, but you don't need Master Cheeks, you don't need to take your helmet off that much. But with these, they all took their helmet off just before they died, except Cat obviously didn't because it was a, a shock, but we were able to connect with them because of the, the we saw their eyes, we saw their emotion. Uh, I don't know what the characters with the, the, the scratching on his face, like when he died, it was a shock, but I didn't feel the weight as I did with the others like George and Cat and Carter. But it's, and I think that's because I'd seen their faces because he removed or they removed their helmets. So yeah, it's a really interesting point that's come that spiraled all from a comment about from the actor, the Master Cheeks actor. But yeah, I find that really interesting. And there you have it. That was my reaction and filmmaking thoughts on the Halo Reach campaign. Thank you so much guys for being here and recommending this to me because it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you guys. And it's actually the whole channel wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye bye. Now it's time.